Hi, Infromantis here, and I'm not going to bore you with a long intro, but I am going to say that I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe today. Thank you. Good morning, even night, depending where you're watching from, Infromantis here, and today, a very interesting topic. In my opinion, feelings are a bit of a double-edged sword. They're both good and bad. On the one hand, feelings can turn into relationships, and relationships can be these incredible things where both partners are just so happy. On the other hand, feelings can really cloud your judgment. You might end up overlooking some very obvious warning signs that this person is not a good match for you, or you might end up forgiving someone again and again for some pretty unfair things just because you have feelings for them. This is why taking a step back and asking yourself if this person is actually right for you is a good idea. Taking a step back and evaluating everything can really save you some heartbreak. And this is why in today's video I'm going to go over the steps you need to follow to determine if someone's actually right for you. So let's begin step 1, which is, step 1, anything in common? The saying opposites attract is true to a point. It's great having someone that's strong in the areas that you're weak. If you're a super anxious person, being with someone that's usually very calm can really make a difference in your ability to handle situations. It's also great being with someone that has a different perspective on things. As long as they're willing to share their point of view, you can actually learn a lot. But at the end of the day, it is incredibly important that you two have things in common. Arguing over every little thing because you guys are just so opposite is not fun, and over time you two are likely going to drift apart. So ask yourself, do you actually have things in common with this person? And are your differences beneficial, or are they just going to get in the way? So let's move on to the next step, which is... Step 2, you have good reasons to like this person. Feelings can be complicated, sometimes you can really like someone without entirely sure knowing why. It's okay to not have your feelings completely figured out, but it is important that you have concrete reasons to seriously like somebody. Maybe they're always willing to listen to your problems, or maybe they're always trying to cheer you up when you're down, or maybe they're just always there for you. Whatever the reason may be, having feelings for somebody built off of one of these reasons is a lot more promising that this person's right for you, compared to having feelings for someone built off of you just finding them attractive. So ask yourself, why do you like this person? And if you don't have any concrete reasons, it's a sign that you should get to know this person better before your feelings get too carried away. So let's move on to the next step, which is... Step 3. You happily make time for each other. What happens when one of you messages the other? Does one person anxiously wait for a reply while the other always takes forever to respond? In my opinion, if the person's right for you, they should be willing to make an effort to be there when you reach out, and if they're busy, they should be willing to get back to you when they're not. If you're never their preference, you might be better off looking elsewhere. I really hope this guides guys out. Good luck. Links to the Infromantis Facebook page, Twitter, and other stuff below. Infromantis out.